presentation. Today we're going to discuss meeting the West Georgia Consulting Group. We are Global Events Incorporated, and today we're going to give a few recommendations along with some stats and other things along with that. We give West Georgia an extreme maker. So we're going to go to our background, our introduction. Well, we are, we're a small firm. We um, started in the late 1970s. Uh, initially, we were just, you know, improve racial, racial uh, inequalities, racial divides and gaps, and try to bridge the gap between racial inequalities and try to make things a little more simple for uh, the masses through extreme and inclusive events such as fairs, tournaments, uh, sweepstakes, things like that. Um, so our teamwork, Teamwork is the foundation for our business. We, uh, we take a big pride in teamwork. Teamwork is how everything gets done from the little person down to the big man on top. Everybody is part of the team. It's holistically inclusive. And we have a strong leadership. We have a strong leadership. Um, we all know that leadership is only effective due to communication skills. Communication is the basis of everything successful in our business. Top down communication has to be on point, has to be transparent, has to be thorough. So here is our president, Chelsea Weaver. And she's got a PhD in financial reporting and over a decade of experience in consultation. Here's our vice president. My name is Josiah Dunson. A doctorate in business management, over two decades of consultation between organizations and businesses. Secretary, Danielle Porter, she has a master's in mass communication. She's got over two decades of experience in the social media, social media background. Julia Walking, this is our international events coordinator. She does all of our events such as in Germany, Italy, <laughs> the fancy places that we all want to go. She does all our events there. She sets up tournaments, she sets up fundraisers, gifts. Big, uh, big events, stuff like that. Um, she has over 15 plus years in that field. Um, she has a master's in portfolio analysis and public relations. Everything that goes wrong, everything that we have problems with, like a ago, she, she fixes all that. She, she's a cleanup lady. She has everything, everything that's <laughs> fixed to her. Uh, and lastly is Chance Harvey. He's our leading chief operator. Um, he has a master's in capital investment strategy over nine years, dealing with Fortune 500 companies, running them, operating them smoothly, efficiently, and economically. And here's Chelsea Weaver, our statement of duty. Hi, I'm Chelsea Weaver. Our team at Global Events has conducted research on Weekends West Georgia, and we feel that this organization needs our expertise to strengthen their three weakest areas, which is student participation, external communications, and organizational image. Weekends West Georgia is an organization that provides students with free events on the weekends. Although the events are free, a lot of students still do not participate. Our team has pulled information from the UWG Student Involvement Survey, and we have found that 81% of students still leave campus on the weekends, and 68% want to get involved on campus on the weekends but don't know how. Um, this information has helped us come up with recommendations that we feel can help increase student involvement for the organization. As stated before, Weekends West Georgia needs to become a lot stronger with their external communications. The president of the organization has already expressed that he isn't able to advertise and get the word out about the events every day because he is the only person responsible for doing so. So we have also come, with, come up with recommendations to alleviate that issue as well. All in all, we just want Weekends West Georgia to enhance its overall organizational image. And we feel that this can easily be done if we increase student involvement and external communications. Like I said, in order for Weekend, Weekends West Georgia to be successful um, in their three weakest areas, they need to communicate a lot better internally and externally. And Danielle will explain how this can be done. All right, we'll be going to internal and external communications. First and foremost, strong communication is a major importance of global events, and because of that, it is our job to foresee that our clients embody the same vital resources that we uh, carry with us. 
communication is key in the process and to achieve, we need communication to reach a wider demographic on campus. Today I will be discussing these three topics, current communications within the organization, current communications beyond the organization, and the SWOT analysis of the organization in comparison to other similar groups, both on campus and um, internationally. First off, uh, current communications, before we can apply new techniques to better communication within, we must look at existing methods being used. We came to the conclusion that the difficulty is not um, of communication internally within the organization, rather externally. <coughs> Successful business maintains themselves internally, in part to great communication, so to thrive outside, we need a good tunnel of communication to reach outside ex external sources. Communication has been successful. Do, communication has been successful internally due to the low number of um, members to deliver the message across to. Right now, Weekends of West Georgia is ran by a gra one graduate assistant with occasional help from the assistant student director, assistant director of student events. Excuse me. Um, the primary source of communication between the two is through email, and which means most information is always delivered electronically and through the internet. These two come up with ideas for the for events, then collaborate with the university and sponsors to get them approved and promoted. And once the event is approved, approved uh, it will lead to, um, it's then promoted to the student population, which leads to our external communication. Um, though more methods of communications are used externally, <coughs> there's still a problem reaching the mass of students. You can see here, 50% uh, 50 50 well 76% of um, in, of the way info gets out is through the internet and social media. Social media takes up 50% of course, it's 2016, it's kind of expected. 26% of the internet and um, only 24% of event promotion gets out through ads and through word of mouth. To further break down the organization, I'm going to analyze the SWOT analysis of Weekends at West. Here you will see the strengths and weaknesses of the organization, the opportunities the group has in the future, and the threats the staff has towards thriving on campus. Um, first and foremost, the, str uh, the strengths of the organization, the events are free. Um, college students, not rich, so that helps. And also the events are held weekly, every weekend. So the combination of the two, of the two both being free and weekly, uh, already makes the organization stand out. Weaknesses is a lack of communication to the external environment, which I just spoke about. Events are either not posted within a timely manner or not thoroughly enough across campus. Um, the opportunities that the uh, company has is to use be is to uh, use to better use social media platforms to get the message across, and the threats come from other events that may outshine um, the events promoted by Weekends at West, such as sporting activities, such as games, and also students that um, just don't stay on campus because they don't feel the need to. To compare to uh, other universities, I use two examples. Um, the University of, well, first of all, University of West Georgia, they use social media sparingly. Um, word, of mouth, word of mouth is used less erratically, which proves to be less effective than our other two examples right here. Um, internationally speaking, inter the University of Oldenburg, uh, they promote their events very prematurely, um, and they have widespread advertising. They make sure that their events are advertised throughout campus and probably maybe like a month in advance. Uh, Indiana State University, looking more um, internally in the United States, they po they um, make daily posts about weekend events through social media platforms, and because social media is so prevalent um, in the year we're in, it will be very effective. I'll be passing it on to Julia with our recommendations. Hello, I'm Julia. I'm the International Coordinator of Global Events, and I will talk about the recommendations we made for Weekends at West Georgia. So, effective communication in the business <coughs> world is important and can lead to success. Without effective communication, the external and internal structure of a business can face different challenges, and this can in the end lead to a demise. Global Events is a successful international event consulting team with a strong company values, high moral standards, and customer satisfaction. To improve, uh, we've already improved many communication uh, skills and abilities all over the world. And now we came up with some recommendations in three different areas to improve uh, weekends at West Georgia's 
communication skills and abilities. First of all, we found out while talking to students that many students don't even know that Weekends at West Georgia exists. And this is really sad. Some students express the need for more information in general. Therefore, we think Weekends at West Georgia should promote their events continuously and in advance. Attendance could be way higher if um, students are informed early enough so they can plan and take the weekend off. Um, if um, we already, um, no, Weekends West Georgia works together with the University of West Georgia and they should also put the information on the homepage and work together with the university a little bit more. Um, if they promote early enough, they have also time to spread flyers, not only at their own events for the next events, they could also um, spread flyers at the football games, at the basketball games, and yeah, maybe um, even at the um, campus center at the Z6. Yeah, and on the flyers, they should have a schedule with upcoming events so everybody can put the schedule, um, pin it up on the wall, and yeah knows what's going on the next weekend. And our second recommendation to improve the organization of image is um, we found out that the biggest change is that um, the events are for free. So we recommend to um, also um, give away like free t-shirts and um, yeah, provide even more free stuff because as you know students don't have a lot of money because the tuitions are so expensive. Um, yeah, they are always they always appreciate free stuff. Um, and if people wear T-shirts from Weekends at West Georgia, um, yeah, people get interested and um, pay attention to those T-shirts and maybe think, why don't I go to the next um, event from Weekends at West Georgia? Moreover, um, Weekends at West Georgia should increase student involvement. Um, students uh, should come up with their own ideas and. Um, work um, with Weekends at West Georgia together to implement them and um, because students know what other students want and I think this is the best way to um, increase the student involvement and if you uh, attract a lot of students um, uh, you can attract a lot of students because uh, they are probably interested in planning their weekends on campus. Um, our second recommendation regarding the increasing student involvement um, is about um, how we can type of Georgia is working together. They only consist out of a graduate assistant and some students that get paid. Um, and um, the graduate assistant uh, told us in the interview that he isn't a big social media person. And that's the big problem because that's why people are don't know early enough about the event and don't participate because they probably have something planned already at the weekend. And um, we propose that um, Weekends at West Georgia should um, give, uh, should um, make the students that work for Weekends at West Georgia make them make um, make someone else in charge every month. And this person would be responsible uh, to advertise the events in time and continuously. And um, they could also maybe um, employ an extra person who would be responsible for that if it's not possible that one of the students does it every month. So then the, the Weekends at West Georgia should develop effective external communication skills. And because their weakness, yeah, because that's definitely their weakness. Um, they should use the following um, communication methods Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, flyers, and email. Um, they could also send email newsletters every week. And um, yeah, students are busy, they need to be reminded as often as possible. Our second recommendation regarding this point is that um, Weekends at West Georgia has to communicate with current and possible future sponsors because. Since the events are for free, it's important to have uh, effective communication with the sponsors because yeah, they, um, yeah, they should um, have constant meetings with them. We recommend to um, meet at least once a month for one or two hours uh, to discuss the following events and how um, the sponsors can implement to it and 
maybe um, sponsor free popcorn for a movie night or uh, free drinks. And um, after the event, they should always um, have a phone conversation to um, talk directly about the feedback, what went wrong, uh, what could they improve for the following event. And yeah, they should present ideas and discuss um, the possible implementation with the sponsors. And uh, they should also try to work more together with the University of West Georgia and the alumni because they could be possible future sponsors. And now I'm turning over to Chance and he will conclude everything. Right. So in conclusion, we believe that we can help uh, Wiggins in West Georgia improve their organizational image overall, uh, strengthen their communication strategies, and increase student involvement throughout implementing our recommendations. Uh, we believe students would be more attracted to attending events if we further promote it and do giveaways as in the free t-shirts and stuff. And with a little motivation, we believe that Wiggins in West Georgia can receive the full benefit we have to offer. I know we have questions for team number one. <laughs> team number one. Um, why should we trust your recommendations to approve the um, weekend with Georgia now and in the future? Because of our experience and our credibility, um, I think we can help weekends with Georgia enhance this organizational image. In our opinion, none. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> only because the basis of our recommendations is uh, more prominent use of social media. Mm. There's not really a wrong. Okay, well, I guess if whoever was in charge, um, if we got students to um, promote social media and they did it the wrong way or promoted maybe a party instead of an event, then that could be a potential risk. But other than that, I don't see any. Anybody else? Um, how much time or effort will be needed to put the recommendations in place? Um, we don't really see it taking much time to put them in place, considering it is mostly uh, social media. It just take a couple extra hours a week to put it in place and have someone take the extra time to actually promote it. Um, what type of events will you have on the weekends to get more students to the state besides from the ones that you're doing now? Um, probably more interactive ones. Um, usually, the programs that I myself have went to regarding weekends of this were just um, like uh, screening all the grades, just movies and everything. I remember um, one time they had a laser tag in which you were interactive, got more people out. So, um, things like that, they actually, it seems fun to go to, not just something, not just uh, give you something to do, but something fun to do. Yeah, I would also propose maybe um, a homecoming dance like they do it for high schools. So they put it with a dance for the university. I think there would be many people interested in it. I have a handle on this. Well, awesome. mm -hmm. Now there's a couple more questions. Um, in, in terms of like hiring like staff for like social media, would it be kind of like a mixture of like students and kind of like graduates and everything? In terms of like, I guess, um, I guess I'm trying to ask like how many like students were like you kind of like planning to kind of just like hire for like the social media aspect. I don't believe it's a set number of students you hire. It's more based off of maybe word of mouth spreads like fire. So based upon that, you want students that everybody knows. You want that student that they step on campus, everybody, not me, like everybody, but most people know who they are. And they got a pretty good brand about themselves, so that way they're an extension of Weekends of West Georgia, not just advocating, they're a, a realistic extension of it. That way they hold the brand of Weekends of West Georgia, while also furthering the brand through word of mouth. We have one final question. Um, what do you believe your 
why do you believe your recommendations will increase student member relations? I heard it. I didn't hear it. <laughs> why do you believe your recommendations will increase student member relations? Because the events are free. I mean, who doesn't like free stuff? So we feel that more free t shirts and just free stuff will invert students to come out and stay on campus. And we talk to students what they want, and they also know what other students want. So, so I think those people will attend. Uh, we can have a story in the future if um, they really uh, suggest our recommendations. Where are you going to get all the money to pay for all the free stuff? From the sponsors. Yes, yeah, that will be a part of your sponsorship. Okay. Do you have any takeaways for us? Yes. yes. Tell us, if you could just tell us what they are. <laughs> and this one. <laughs> and this one right here. Wait. You guys? I got a question. All right, let's give these guys a round of applause.